heard some absolutely incredible 9-11 conspiracy theories. The web, of course, is full of them. But tonight, we're bringing one out that feeds on racism out in the open. We were absolutely shocked by one recent poll that found out that one in every three Americans believe the terror attacks were not the work of America's enemies, but some sort of inside job. And Deborah Fayrek found a smaller percentage who believe in even uglier theory. This 9-11 attack was not by 19 Arabs. It was not by Muslims. They talk about a Jewish plot. Everywhere you look, you find a Zionist agent. A conspiracy by Israeli intelligence. <laughs> or by Zionist moles in the Bush administration, allegedly calling the shots in the Middle East. Websites, magazines, documentaries, radio programs, dozens of them disputing the facts that al-Qaeda was behind the 9-11 attacks. It was done by a group of Zionists. Are you suggesting that al-Qaeda had nothing to do with it, that this was all part of a large conspiracy, Zionist or otherwise? Al-Qaeda is, in my opinion, uh, has been exploited. It, it, I, I question whether such a group even exists. Chicago writer Christopher Bolin is one of the conspiracy theorists. I believe that there are Israeli elements that are connected to the Mossad that are involved in this attack. There's no physical evidence to support claims that Jews were behind 9-11. But the speculation and rumors, mostly discounted here in the U.S., have gained momentum in Muslim countries, where they're discussed and believed. Deborah Lauder is with the Jewish-run Anti-Defamation League. What's most troubling is when it reaches the Internet and goes into the Muslim Arab world, we have this cross-fertilization of hate. And this is something we've never seen before. A whole web of beliefs has grown to support this conspiracy theory. Listen to these Americans interviewed on Iranian television. This is a big plot to take control of us, to start war. One of the beliefs is that some 4,000 Israelis or Jews in the New York City area were warned by instant messages not to go to work on 9-11. For Wilton Sexer, a retired police sergeant who is Jewish, the claim is outrageous. It remains uh, consistent of a piece of bone, uh, two and a half inches long and about an inch long, about the size of your index finger. And that's all they ever found? That's all they ever found. Sexer's son Jason died in the towers. He says Jason received no warning. Neither did some 400 Jews who died in the tragedy. Give me the names of the 4,000 Jews who stayed home. Show me something. There is nothing to show. This is a total, ridiculous, asinine rumor that was started by anti-Semites. I think that conspiracy theories in general really do work a bit like a game of telephone. Uh, you know, they are told and retold uh, and tend to get more and more far out in the telling. When you imply that somehow Israelis were involved in the attack on the World Trade Center in the Pentagon. People are going to look at you. Critics will say, you are an anti-Semite, are you? No, I'm not an anti-Semite. Um, this, this is the main charge that's leveled against me and has been for years, even before 9-11, because I am a critic of Zionist policies. That's a very common technique among anti-Semites. They will, they will twist things. I'm not an anti-Semite. I just believe X, Y, Z. Anti-Semitic or not, the question now, will this 9-11 conspiracy theory become like the Kennedy assassination, analyzed for generations as an unsolved mystery? Deborah Fayrick, CNN, New York. Time to check in our, with our Out in the Open panel. Should they have plenty to say about this? Lauren, Michael DeRoy, welcome back. All right, so let's let's start with the resident Jew on our panel here. I mean, <laughs> you hear this stuff, and it just makes you sick to your stomach. There is absolutely no evidence that anybody other than Al-Qaeda was involved with this attack. Well, how, uh, how upsetting is this to you? Look, uh, we've been kicked around for 2,000 years. The face you're looking at, it's got a lot of anger in it because of that. 
That's not a way to live, wandering around the globe, never having a home. It's pretty difficult because every time there's trouble, we're scapegoated. We're not the only ones that are scapegoated, but we're scapegoated by people who are frightened. They don't care. They are paranoid. You cannot debunk this theory. It is madness as well as idiocy to think that the Jews brought down the World Trade Center on 9-11. But you cannot argue logic to someone who is mentally ill. What frightens me is that the whole nation is frightened and that fear is being fueled by this administration and by the media, not you, just the opposite. I congratulate you and I'm grateful for it seriously to bring this stuff out because it is in those times that Jews, like other minorities, better get scared, better get angry, better fight for what's right and try and convince people courage is the cure for paranoia, not racism is this just a smear campaign for anti-semites i think it's i agree with michael i mean the, the blame the jews theme is something that goes back about two thousand years i mean it's a really hardy varietal but look i mean we know who uh, pulled off 911 uh, uh, richard minner writes about it in his book uh, disinformation he quotes directly from uh, from uh, osama bin laden who, who says on a tape we found we calculated in advance the number of casualties from the enemy who would be killed based on the position of the tower we had notification since the previous thursday that the event would take place that day unquote says osama but bin laden himself but what and it, it is, Michael's right in the sense for this. But Michael's right now. in the sense that we have a government that has led us into a war. And most Americans, even the smart of us, smartest of us, sit around and go, now why again are we here mm. in the we war? And when there are blanks, we often fill in the blanks. And those blanks are filled in by misinformation, urban legends. We create stories and but, people believe things. But you're things. talking about a very unpopular war. We're talking about 9-11. No, but what I'm talking about is that. the war is based upon what our government told us, this fear well, that we have will, from 9-11. This will get worse as the unrest in the Middle East gets worse. This problem will not go away and the reason it won't go away is because we don't have an administration as we once did that said and counseled us we have nothing to fear but fear itself exactly. we have just the opposite we have an administration that fuels fear that puts up the sign every day that tells us be frightened stay scared be worried and so we are suspicious we are xenophobic and we don't like anybody that's think, different from us how concerned are you that, that these Pogroms conspiracy will be next. theories will take even deeper hold Look, I think it's entirely possible the kind of people who are spreading this sort of stuff will continue to blame the Jews for, for any, anything that can go Jews. wrong. I think it's very important as this uh, war on terror continues to point out exactly who the bad guys are, which are Islamo-fascists who want you, 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 and me dead, and want people dead around the country, and they're engaged in tremendous violence, killing thousands of people all around the world. This problem, starting with, well, even before 9-1-1, the 93 attack, problem, the attack on the USS Cole, this is a really serious enemy we need, need to identify. Yes, it is, and but, but and, there are and, reasons and why people are open to believe theories. That's my yeah. point. There's a, there are reasons why people are open to belief theories, and these reasons will not change yeah. unless our government more actively works to inform us of what the real truth is, so people are not here playing guessing games. Lauren Lake, Michael Gross, DeRoy Murdoch, fascinating discussion. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can, your, your anger uh, was, was uh, palpable during that piece as well. Well, well understood. Larry King Live's coming up in just a few minutes. Hey, Larry, you're going to talk to the owners of Barbara tonight? Yeah, wow, well, who wouldn't be angry at what that last No, I know, I know. But, you know, it's yeah, astonishing. Paul. Wasn't it the statistic that one in three Americans believe not that particular conspiracy but theory, but one of many? The old Goebbels theory, you can tell a lie long enough, more people will believe it.